Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming a sit down first day of senior year vlog and I'm super excited to film this video because videos like these mean a lot to me because I'm low-key obsessed with school and also I have this thing that I do every single year where the day before school starts I watch Mean Girls and I watch a Get Ready With Me and a sit down vlog of the year I'm going into so I wanted to make this video so that those of you who are going into senior year or a different year can watch this video and relate because I just want to be the type of person where you guys can feel like we're relatable or you're talking to a friend and you can ask me questions and anything so um yeah just feel free to leave any questions i'll definitely get back to you so yeah let's just get right into the video so um the first thing i'm going to talk about is my classes so um yeah every single year basically we don't get our real schedule until the day of school and we usually get them at midnight on school loop which is the app that my school uses so basically when i saw my schedule honestly my heart really dropped not going to lie because the preliminary schedule i got before was basically my ideal schedule i had all of the classes that i wanted and i had a lot of classes with my friends so i was really excited so when i saw my real schedule and i realized that my schedule completely got changed and i didn't have really any classes with anyone i knew i kind of freaked out and i my stomach dropped also because the classes that i signed up for senior year were definitely on the more challenging side so i wasn't really sure if i was gonna stick to them but at our school it's really hard to like switch out of an ap class so when i saw my schedule i was kind of dreading it because i didn't really want to be in all my classes that i signed up for honestly i didn't want to be in ap physics at all because I hate physics so much, I hate science in general, and um, you know, as you guys know, English is my favorite subject. Um, I like to think that I'm like alright at English, like it's one of my favorite subjects and I usually do fairly well in English classes, but I had a, the most difficult English teacher ever my sophomore year. and. I knew I was going to get him my senior year, but for some reason, but when I saw his name on my schedule for senior year, my stomach just dropped because I was having flashbacks of all of the stress that I was put through sophomore year. When I woke up, I was just like, oh, I kind of hate my schedule, but, but yeah, so that's basically it. So I guess I will just kind of tell you guys what classes I'm actually in. So I'm doing five APs this year. For my first period, I have English Lit with my crazy difficult English teacher. I have second period, I have AP Gov and AP Econ. Third period, I have Spanish 4. Fourth period, I have AP Physics. Fifth period, I have AP Psychology. And sixth period, I have Calculus. To be completely honest with you guys, I'm still debating if I should drop an AP class. I just feel like it's something important to mention in this video. I just want to be honest and tell you guys all my thoughts. Um, I'm still kind of going through the first day process because I'm still trying to decide. I was nervous as heck, but as soon as I walked in, I saw all of my friends and I have like a lot of really amazing friends that are super nice people. And as soon as I saw them, like when I walked into school, I was in a really bad mood honestly walked in i saw my friends and it was just nice seeing them after a long time and that was that that was the morning and then as i was walking to my first period i was a little shook because my school has this thing called top 10 where there's okay so there's like 850 people in each grade and we get ranked by gpa and we have this thing called top 10 where 10 students with the highest gpa are in top 10. as soon as i walked into my first period I literally saw every single person in top 10 sitting in that class. Also, there were just kids that weren't in top 10 that were so extremely smart. So I just sat down. I was like, okay, this is it. But yeah, um, that's basically what happened. Um, all my friends were in that class, so that was pretty lit just like the name just kidding this time we're doing this weird thing where it's like five days of gov five days of econ five days of gov five days of econ it is so freaking weird so apparently i'm in two classes at the same time so 
that makes it really 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 stressful because uh, it's just like me signing up for four APs and then being told I'm in five which is literally what happened to me so yeah um my gov teacher is amazing he reminds me of my art history teacher which makes sense because they're actually like best friends but yeah my gov teacher is super nice he's so funny i was laughing the whole class time he's really like outgoing and energetic so i could tell i'm gonna like that class i don't think it's gonna be easy but i i'm okay with it i'm excited for it actually um i love government and i love econ and my teacher said something about how we're gonna focus on um topics like equality and stuff like that i think that's so important i'm like i'm all for equality so i'm excited for that class and yeah i haven't been to econ yet but in two days i will be in econ so yeah and then for third period i have spanish four and this is my fourth year doing spanish spanish four is low-key hard the first as soon as I walked in, she started speaking Spanish to me, which makes sense because it's Spanish class. But then we were doing assignments, and I was like, oh, on the first day, okay. So, yeah, um, one of my best friends is in that class with me, so of course it's good. I love being in classes with her. So, yeah, that's Spanish 4. And then for fourth period, I have AP Physics, um, maybe my least favorite class. I... I'm not into science. I've never liked science. I've never been good at science. I've gotten the most B's in science just about that class. I heard there's a lot of homework, so we will see. And then after physics, I have AP Psychology, which I'm super excited about. I know that AP Psychology is a lot of work. I don't know about you guys, but at our school, we have like a seven page is a night note requirement, and it's like a lot of reading, but I'm excited because studying hard on subjects that I care about does not bother me at all. So I'm actually very excited to do psychology. I think I'm trying to figure myself out right now. I think a lot of people are trying to figure themselves out now. So I think psychology is just a really cool class to take. So yeah, and then sixth period, I have calculus, which I was really worried about. I was like, do I really want to end off my day with calc? But as soon as I got into the class, there were only 15 kids in my class, which is so weird because most classes I'm in literally have like 35 kids. So it was so weird only having 15 kids, but the class is super chill. I have to say taking prep classes is fun because it's easier than AP classes, but it's also hard in the sense that you don't really have help because all of my friends are in AP classes. I am... I guess I'm looking forward to meeting new people. It's a small class. So yeah, um, that's basically my whole day. And I guess I'll just talk about like how I felt. I mean, honestly, I was nervous, but as soon as I stepped foot on the campus, I just felt so normal. Everything felt so familiar just because I've gone through this for three years. Another weird thing was I just didn't feel like I was a senior. I always dreamed that senior was, seniors were the untouchable ones and they were basically just icons and they were like so exclusive but being a senior you really feel the same as everyone else i guess i guess maybe just more experienced and for me being a senior it's actually kind of embarrassing because i still can't find all my classes so i feel embarrassed to ask where my classes are because i'm like i'm a senior i should i should know this but i don't so yeah um i i felt pretty good going through my first day i mean i was obviously stressed and i was a little disappointed because summer ended but i'm not really the person that hates school so much it's stressful but i don't hate it so yeah social aspect um lunch is pretty good I, a lot of my friends actually all of my friends have the same lunch as me most of them do and i'm pretty grateful for my schedule most of my teachers are really good and I like that I have friends in my class senior year has been pretty good um I just I feel more grown up but I still feel the same I feel like the first day of freshman year was the most exciting for me because I had like a uniform to wear and everything and then junior year I had to wear like a link crew shirt but senior year I'm not in any extracurriculars that are you know like that required me to wear anything so i kind of just went as myself and i thought it was fun so yeah i mean that's just classes social life pretty good i'd say it's like the same as junior year um i am looking forward to getting my license so that 
I mean, I'm so young for my grade though too. I'm 16 right now and a senior and everyone else is turning 18. I'm turning 17 really soon though, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting my license, going out after school and eating at Chick-fil-A, getting milkshakes, everything like that. So I guess that was just a sit down vlog of my junior year. It was a pretty fun day. If you guys want real junior year vlogs, I will definitely do that. I'm not opposed to anything. Leave any requests down below. I'd love to help you guys. And I hope that my sit down senior year vlog was fun for you guys. And I will talk to you guys later.